Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Today I want to show you guys um, what I'm currently working on. Thanksgiving weekend just passed. I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, Black Friday shopping passed. I actually didn't do a lot of Black Friday shopping this year, mainly because I get really overwhelmed. Like with all the sales going on, I get so overwhelmed. I don't even know like where to start. So I'm putting together a little like care package type of thing for all of the male people that are gonna be coming now through Christmas. I bought this, a bunch of different chips. I also got this one that has like cookies and nutter butters. And this one was actually a big hit last year. I, I had bought this from Costco. And then I also got this one that has also cookies and uh, cheese crackers. And both of these, I wanna say these were each $4 a piece. And then this giant thing was like $7.50. So um, yeah, everything was around $20. Oh, I also have a case of water, which is still in the car. So I gotta go grab that. I'm just gonna take my box and I'm gonna wrap it in wrapping paper. And then I'm gonna print us a little sign that says, uh, Merry Christmas, thank you for all of your hard work. Please take one. And I'm gonna include the logos of like UPS, USPS, FedEx, Amazon, and I think those are all the delivery people. Maybe DHL, I think, is also another one. Um, and I'm gonna make it all cute and just like put it together. I got the smaller bot water bottles. That way they can take more than one if they, if they want. And I thought about putting them like in an ice chest, but it's gonna be pretty cold, so I feel like it's gonna be okay. Like it'll get cold with the temperature outside. So I have chips, cookies, and I'm also gonna add some cracker. So I just put the little box out here. I have it on top of a bench that's usually by the door. So I have partnered with Hallmark for this video for their Care Enough campaign, which I have been partnering with them since the beginning of the year. Um, and it's a campaign that encourages people to do small acts of kindness every single day, which I absolutely love the message. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed the messages throughout these different videos as well. I really enjoyed reading your comments. Um, in the past video, it was about who you consider to be your hero. And a lot of you guys had, I just really enjoyed reading your stories. I'm not gonna lie, some of your stories actually brought me to tears sad and happy tears. Um, so thank you so much for sharing your stories with me. And now that it's the holiday season, the theme is all about sharing the magic of the holidays, um, which you guys know I am in total holiday spirit and holiday mood already. So yeah, this is what I picked out. It's called the Musical Tree Lighting Snowman. He lights up your tree, you guys, and it's perfect for my snowman theme. So I think the way that this works we will be putting it together ourselves, but I think the way that this works is you plug in your Christmas tree to this and then you can have this in any other room within like, I wanna say you have to be within like a certain amount of feet, but this is going to turn on your Christmas tree. So if you have like Christmas lights on your tree, this will turn it on with like music and everything. So I think this will be really cool now that Sebastian is like able to grab things. I wanna see if he can actually do this. Um, he understands cause and effect and all of that. So I feel like he's gonna get a kick out of this. I did have an ornament that I picked out from for Sebastian's first Christmas and then this and they're gonna be like special little treasures that I can put away and then open them back up next year and I get all that excitement all over again. Always kind of been like that for the holidays for Christmas because it's just my favorite time of the year. So once I set it up and you guys like it and maybe you wanna get one for yourself and for your Christmas tree, um, I will have a link down below. I wanna know what special decorating touches you guys have done throughout your home to make this year special and to stand out amongst other years. Let me know down below. For me, it's definitely the whimsical tree that I've done. If you guys have watched any of my past tree decorating videos, you know I've always kept it like very simple. Um, and this year I went all out because of Sebastian. I wanted something really fun and colorful. So I plugged it in right there. That's the little plug that came with the snowman and then I plugged the tree in right there. So I just switched this lever leveler. You ready to go for a walk? 
that was seriously awesome. My tree doesn't even blink, so all of the blinking that you guys saw was from the actual snowman. That was so cool. <gasps> Look who's here. <laughs> My handsome boy, he's getting so big, right? He's at the point where he just wants to explore. He's crawling everywhere. I've been trying so hard to get his update video up. I actually filmed it one time and I just, the footage did not come out good. Sebastian was like shaking the chair that the camera was on. So like half of the footage was shaky. I wasn't able to use that video. Um, so I'm gonna try to film it again. But yeah, I'm just gonna start on dinner right now. I just got like a bunch of frozen veggies. I'm gonna put green beans in my soup, even though the one I showed you guys on Instagram did not have green beans. I also bought some frozen butternut squash because I want to make um, butternut squash soup also. Yeah, you like butternut squash? You could use any meat that you like. Um, since I'm not going to be making this in a slow cooker, I wanted to use a more tender meat. Ribeye is like pretty hard to mess up. So this is the one that I picked up. Definitely use like a, a stew type of meat if you're going to make it in the slow cooker. Just make sure you cook it for the full like six to 12 hours or overnight so that the meat gets nice and tender. For the base of the soup, I just have one celery stalk and then I just have I mean, there's not really a lot of measurements. I just have like a handful of little carrots and I'm just gonna dice them up really small. I also have a shallot here, so I'm gonna add a little bit of shallot to it. Yeah, I'm just gonna dice this up really, really tiny and this is gonna go at the beginning of our stew and this is what's gonna help add all that flavor. I have my little helper right here. Are you helping mommy? Is that yummy? <laughs> My little birdie. Even if you don't like celery, you guys, this is like, you can't taste the celery in the soup. This is just what's going to make your soup super flavorful. Okay, so I have all of my veggies prepped, so now I'm just taking my meat and I'm gonna just salt that, just salt and pepper, and then in a bowl, I'm gonna add some flour, salt, pepper, and paprika just enough to coat the meat. So yeah, I don't have that much flour, it's just literally just enough to like coat the meat evenly. So I'm just like shaking it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that into cubes. So literally all I'm doing is just taking all of this beef, and just tossing it in here, and then just giving it a good coat. So if you guys don't want to do this, you can also thicken your soup with heavy whipping cream or you could have it in broth form, which is totally fine. It doesn't need to be thick. I have my pan on medium high heat right now and I'm going to add my olive oil. You want to coat the entire bottom of it. Go ahead and add a little bit more oil to the pan. So I add in my carrots, my celery. Just gonna let that kind of saute. So this has been sauteing for about five minutes and you can see the onions are translucent, the carrots are soft. So I don't want my garlic to burn, so I'm gonna go ahead and deglaze the pan and I have some leftover wine from last night, so I'm gonna use that. I'm just scraping the bottom to uh, release all of those flavor bits at the bottom that get stuck to the pan. You could also do this with beef stock. It doesn't have to be wine. And now I'm going to put my beef back in the pot so it can kind of absorb all those juices and the wine flavor and all of that. And I'm just gonna let that simmer with the top off so that the alcohol can evaporate. To this, I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm also gonna add some soy sauce. I'm just using about half a bag of beans. And I'm just gonna add my bone broth. You could use chicken stock, you could use beef stock, vegetable stock, whatever you want. Another one, I want a lot of broth. So I'm gonna add another one of these. I'm gonna add pepper. Also added just a tiny pinch of rosemary while I bring it up to a boil. So 
So once it starts to boil like this, I like to turn the heat down until the bubbles start to get a lot smaller and then I just let it kind of simmer like that for like 20 minutes so that the flavors can really start to mesh well together. Cake, patty cake, bakers, yeah. Bake me a cake. <laughs> So it's been 20 minutes and you can see the soup started to reduce. There's some space left in there, which is totally fine. Now we're gonna add our cream and I kind of just eyeball it, honestly. I'm just gonna add, I'd say that's probably about half a cup of cream. I'm just gonna mix it and I'm gonna let that come back up to a boil. And then we're gonna add our cheese. And I actually really like this with provolone cheese, but I don't have any, so. Um, I'm gonna use cheddar cheese. Just use what you got, you know, if you don't have green beans, use potatoes or carrots or even broccoli would be good in this. This is the cheese I'm using. Normally, I know I tell you guys not to use the bag cheese whenever we're making, like when I showed you guys the broccoli and cheese soup, but we're not trying to thicken this the way that we were the broccoli and cheese soup, so it's okay to use this kind. We're gonna add it just a little bit at a time and just stir. You can see how it's still super brothy, but it has that super cheesy flavor to it. It is so good, you guys. I will have the exact measurements down below for you guys. So I'm gonna put the bread in the oven to toast, and I'm gonna go put Sebastian to sleep. This will only take about 15 minutes. I like mine the way it is. I'm actually gonna try mine with this hot sauce that I've been obsessed with. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. This right here, it's a truffle hot sauce. It is so good. If you like truffles. My husband doesn't think it's very good because <laughs> he doesn't like truffles. So I'm just gonna put a little bit or a lot of bit in mine. They actually came out with a white one too. I don't know where it is. I used it the other day. I think I put it in the fridge, but it's so, so good. So I'm gonna put the honey in the microwave so it heats up the bread, but these English muffins with a little bit of butter and then you drizzle honey on top is like the perfect complement to any beef stew. Okay, so the honey is all warm. I'm just gonna drizzle that honey on top. And then I top it with a little bit of finishing salt, which are just like these little flakes 